Okay, just wanted to do an update. Um, today I've got the Centroid board uh, wired in temporarily. Just I'm just trying to do a bench test, trying to get it tuned because I don't want it to be hooked to the machine and, and, and have it go crazy. Um, so I've got the Centroid Acorn plugged up, connected rather, to the, um, the Allen Bradley Ultra 3000. I, I know it looks really messy. It just is just temporary. Um, I just got it working. Uh, I have to be honest with you, it took me longer to get the software to work on the computer over here. Um, I had to do all the updates on the system in order for the VCP to display. For some reason, it wouldn't come up. Um, finally got it working. Um, it took me a couple minutes playing with the configurations to get the, uh, the uh, Acorn Bird to work with this controller, or this driver, rather. Um, I, actually, I'm tickled to death. And I know there's going to be a lot more tuning and stuff because um, I did the auto tune before I hooked anything up using it um, when I had the signal generator. But I'm going to show you. I'm doing step and direction with a CNC Acorn driving an Allen Bradley Ultra 3000 that's driving in a Fanuc red top servo motor out of an older CNC. So let me show you what I got. So if you can see the screen over here, I am going to. Be running the x-axis because that's the one I've got it hooked up to. See it moving and then we'll go to the motor. And now I'm going to change direction on the motor. Quiet as I'm not. The only noise you're hearing is I got the cap off the encoder. You hear that noise? There's going to be some tuning that's going to be involved. Um, probably look you know, because I'm running on a 110 volt single phase right now. When I get out to the shop, I'll be running on uh, 220 single phase on these motors. Then on my uh, my spindle, I'm going to be running three phase. So, anyways, I have to figure out what's causing that. I'm not going to worry about it till I get it out to the machine on the final tuning. I will say that if that whole current on this or the frequency that there may be a, a uh, maybe noise or something, or, or the signal generator on this other board is not. If it's putting trash in there or something, I can see it doing that. Uh, I'll I'll work out the bugs once I get everything all hardwired and grounded inside the servo. But I was really shocked that I was able to get this done. That you know, I've got about three days in this whole project. If anybody's done this before with a uh, acorn and a, and a Fanuc with an Allen Bradley or just an Allen Bradley and a, and a acorn, let me know. But this saved this has saved me a lot of money. I'm a little anxious about doing the tuning configurations on it. Um, you know, I've been really lucky. On the last one I did, I used some some lead shine uh, Chinese uh, hybrids on my other CNC that I put together. I really wished I'd use just purebred servos on that one. But here we are. Everything's working. Um, I got an old junk scope I got at the Hamfester years ago for $25. <laughs> I had to have that one over here and my other one over here in order to get this to work. But for those that don't have a scope, I'll go ahead. If you get with me, I'll post this information so you know what to hook up, where it goes. Um, that way you don't have to have this stuff to make it work. And, and those scopes are, you know, what, two, 300 bucks on eBay? Or Hamfest, $25. <laughs> here we go. This is working great, guys. I'm, like, totally tickled to death here. Um, now all we got to do is uh, hardwire it into the machine, which will, I would imagine that's going to take a long time to do. All these cables, if you look, there's a ground right here. I've got to get all that grounded back in the machine. This cable came out of the machine. I've got to make um, cables. I'm going to have to put pull-up resistors inside of the uh, connector. Um, I want it to look decent, and I want it to be reliable. Um, you know, eventually I may want to sell the machine and move on. I want to get a Haas. I just can't afford it because, well, my student loans are <clears throat> a little, a little, um, a little discomforting. <laughs> Let's just say I'll be eating beans till I'm uh, 70, <laughs> trying to pay them things back. But I'll tell you what, they were worth it. But here we are. This is where I'm at right now, guys, and. Uh, just wanted to give everybody an update. 
let you know what's going on. And if anybody's trying to do this, reach out to me. Um, I'm more than happy to be a resource. I just want to pay it forward to uh, the, uh, you know, with Simon helping me and the encouragement from other people um, inside the CNC Zone community. Thanks, guys. I'll be updating the videos as I uh, go forward. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm waiting on the uh, the high voltage drive, the other Allen Bradley 100, so I can get that wired in and get the servo. I really want to do rigid tapping, so I want to put this machine back. On first glance, I don't want anybody to be able to tell the machine's ever been upgraded. I think that'd be really cool. And um, I guess I'm, after all this is up and running, um, I'm going to probably run everything off the bench in the shop with a computer and whatnot as I'm tuning it so I can sit at a desk. Then I'll probably, um, then I'll, I'll, move, I'll migrate everything over to the control panel that came with that, v, with that uh, CNC. Because I'm going to have to do some design and some engineering on that. With probably some picks or something like that. Or some cheap Picos. Um, just to, to get all the controls back to the, to the Acorn. This Acorn is pretty sweet. Guys, yeah, I, love, I love Mach 3. Um, if Mach 3 designed and built their own motion controllers with their software like Acorn does, Mach 3 would be like, it would be awesome. Because then they could control the whole process. Right now, they can't control the whole process. I got it. It works. But I'm not the only one that, that says their Mach 3 acts flaky. Um, it'll lose steps or lose places. And I know if you're a big Mach 3 person, you think, well, it's probably because it's not configured. Um, it does it no matter what systems I'm using. So, But I'm still going to use it. I'm probably going to do more deployments using Mach 3. Just right now, the, the Acorn, they're 300 bucks. Granted, it comes with a demo software. You're going to have some limitations, but for what, 140, 150 bucks? You know, you're good to go. I mean, I'd pay that for my Mach 3 license. Now, you know, on, on that note, if you switch over to Mach 4, you, you know, I've not used Mach 4, so a lot of the problems I'm having with 3 may be gone. Um, I never had problems with uh, when I was using Mach 3 on the earlier, like Windows. Windows XP or something, I never had any problems, but it, I think it maybe is not as much Mach 3 as it is the motion controller and communication between the motion controller and the, uh, the uh, if you're using a USB or something like that. So that's where we're at. And uh, thanks for watching. Looking forward to getting this installed. Y'all have a good one.